Hello, Smurfy here to introduce the portrait we have chosen to feature in Nobby Dawn's History Art Edition. Painted in 1875 by the artist Marie Victories Lemoyne, the name of the painting is Portrait of a Youth in an Embroidered Vest. After doing the research on her, I am amazed in how lifelike her paintings are down to the shadows casting off the objects, as well as the fine details given to the statues making them look 3D. The reason this portrait was chosen is because the shine off of the silver jacket had me mesmerized at first sight. Now before Chef Nobley explains his favorite parts of this picture, here is Spoonie with some history on Miss Lemoyne. This artist gets two thumbs up from me, if I had thumbs. Marie Victoire Lemoyne mainly painted portraits, miniatures, and genre scenes. She was most active in the art community during the late 1780s and the early 1790s. Lemoyne set up her first salon in 1774. She took part in numerous salons, for example, her first solo exhibition was held at Pahine de la Blanchery Salon de Correspondence in 1779, where she exhibited a now untraced portrait of the Princess Lombal. Five years after the Parisian Salon allowed women to participate, she exhibits there for the first time in 1796. She continued to display her works of art to the public in the salons of 1796, 1798, 1799, 1802, 1804, and 1814. Lemoyne was known to sign her paintings with the signature M. Vic Lemoyne. Back to you, Nob. Thanks, Spoonie. More should be said about Miss Lemoyne. She was born in Paris. She was the eldest of four sisters, and two of her sisters followed in her footsteps and became artists as well. She was so dedicated to her work, to the point that she never married. She also broke that glass ceiling by being one of the few artists, female artists, to make a living in this field. Like I said in a video yesterday, once you find your talent, you can break any glass ceiling. Nobby's rant, I do apologize, and all the pigments in me, Lord. Now back to Miss Lamone. She was a student of Francois Golosimo Megagat in the early 1770s. Her studio was right next to the leading lady artist at the time, Miss Elizabeth Louis Vegui Lebrun. And after you look at her artwork, you can see why. She was a Sponge. She absorbed everything she could from these people. Now to Spoonie with more history on the painting. That vest just pops. Marie Victoire Lemoyne was a French classical painter. She was born to a middle class family in Paris in the time when women were limited in their subjects. Most importantly, they couldn't study nude models. She mainly painted portraits, miniatures, and genre scenes. What's interesting is that her sisters, Marie Denise Villers and Marie Elisabeth Gabia, became painters also. Unlike them, she remained unmarried and became one of the few women in contemporary art that made a living through painting. The subject of this portrait has been identified as the notorious Louis Benoit Zamor, the protege of Louis XV's last mistress, the famous Madame du Barry. Zamor, as a boy of 11, was taken from Chittagong, Bengal Suba, in the Mughal Empire, now Bangladesh, by slave traders, and sold to Louis XV. The king gave the boy to his mistress, and he was christened Louis Benoit. Later, when the French Revolution broke out, Du Barry expelled Zamor from her home after he sympathized with the Jacobins. His testimony against Madame Du Barry was a contributing factor to her execution by guillotine in 1793. Here, Lemoyne created a stunning likeness of this youth. His elegant silk attire and embroidered vest indicate his connection with a family of nobility. P.S. Louis Benoit was not the only revolutionist of African origin. Jean-Baptiste Belay, who was the first black man within French history to hold a government position. Nano Nano. Now time for my view. What I seen, what draw me to this picture, like I said earlier, look at the shine on that coat. This picture looks as if it just came out of a 3D shop or even on picture day back. Look at the background. Remember picture day when you were in school? Doesn't it look like they took that picture in picture day, or even took it uh, a picture from another picture and put it in, it looks almost portrait-like, 3D-like, and this was made in the 1700s. This amazes me. Now, what are your thoughts? Please leave your comments down below. Now to 
some pictures my AI generators made. Enjoy! Hello, Smurfy here from Saw with my opinion on the AI generated photos. These are the results from typing in the artist's name with the name of the painting for references. There are six AI generated photos labeled A through F. I chose the letter C and named it a lady in thought. The long gaze in her eyes makes me think they snapped a photo mid-thought. Everything about this picture just amazes me, from the rosy color of her cheeks down to the intricate designs of her blouse, as well as the natural highlights in her hair. They captured the way the lights hips and cast that faint shadow. I look at this picture and have that feeling she was a headstrong woman, knowing what she wants and letting nothing stand in her way. I love this photo because of the AI captured the beauty of the face as well as the intricate details of the designs. The two photos are so similar in style if you put them together you would swear she painted both. Thank you for joining us today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Smurfy out.